Devotion for Thursday, November 18th. Today I'm going to read a passage from the Gospel of Matthew and then a story from kindspring.org. The reading is from Matthew 25. When the Son of Man comes in His glory and all the angels with Him, then He will sit on the throne of His glory. All the nations will be gathered before Him, and He will separate one from another as the shepherd separates sheep from the goats. And He will put the sheep at His right hand and the goats at His left. Then the king will say to those at his right hand, Come, you that are blessed by God, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you gave me clothing. I was sick, and you took care of me. I was in prison and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry and gave you food, or thirsty and gave you something to drink? And when was it that we saw you a stranger and welcomed you, or naked and gave you clothing? And when was it that we saw you sick or in prison and visited you? And the king will answer them, Truly I tell you, just as you did it to one of the least of these who are members of my family, you did it to me. The story that I found on kindspring.org comes from the Delaware Gazette, November 17th. Kelly Lewis is new to Delaware County, but she is already making an impact in her community this holiday season. The Lewis Center resident has begun preparing meals as part of a neighborhood's giving event for local families who might otherwise go without on Thanksgiving Day. I think a lot of times during Thanksgiving, we think, well, we can go to a soup kitchen or we can go to a nonprofit or donate a turkey, Lewis said. We think more about the homeless. We think more about people without food on a regular basis. But I thought about the people who are suffering in the middle. I thought maybe there there are some people who could use just a little bit of assistance. After creating a Facebook post in a local group, to offer her services, Lewis said it took all of 15 seconds for the comments to begin rolling in from others in the community who wished to help with her endeavor. Offers of money and food and donations, as well as assistance with the meal preparations, became plentiful. But Lewis still needed the most important part of the project, families to help. There was perhaps a bit of hesitancy from those in need to reach out for a meal, Lewis said, but the requests eventually began to pour in. So much so, in fact, that Lewis had to cut the requests off at 18 families and upwards of 80 total people as to not overextend those who had volunteered to assist with the meals. Lewis has presented each family with a menu of sorts, from which which each family can choose up to seven items for their meal. Options on the menu include roasted turkey or chicken, Caesar salad, frozen cranberry salad, creamed corn, deviled deviled eggs, green bean casserole, multi-cheese gourmet mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes, and marshmallow souffle, apple pie, and pumpkin pie. All items will be made from scratch. I grew up on home-cooked meals from scratch, and cooking is something that I enjoyed as a younger person, Lewis said. But now as a mom, it has more value to me. 
We're really excited, Lewis said of the program. It's taken a lot of organization. I have a pretty extensive spreadsheet to keep everybody straight with our volunteers and then the families and what they want. Lewis said that with everything going on as a result of the pandemic, now more than ever is the time to ensure that people are being good neighbors and reaching out to anyone who is in need. 2020 has been a rough year for everybody, and it's really kind of forced a lot of us to be wrapped up in our own worlds, Lewis said. The important message for me is to be a good neighbor. Meal preparations are now underway. Meals will be delivered beginning on Sunday, November 22nd through Wednesday, November 25th. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for all the blessings of this life. We thank you for neighbors like Lewis, our neighbors around us. Lord God, help us to be a good neighbor this season and every season. Amen. I hope you have a wonderful day.